A photo is worth a thousand words. The IMPD is thankful that Case and Thomas was found earlier this evening. We would like to thank the IMPD officers and detectives who worked to track down the baby and suspect. We would like to thank community members who helped in locating him. And this tweet features an officer from the Indianapolis Metro Police Department holding baby Case and Thomas. Before I continue, I want you to focus on this picture here. Now, here's some background information. On Monday, around 9.45 p.m., a homeless woman took a car that had two children in it, and so far only one child has been recovered. These are the twins that were inside of that vehicle on Monday that was taken by this woman, and so far, Kaysen is still missing. This is the woman. Her name is Nala Jackson, and it is believed that she is the one who abducted the children. I was reading in the reports that apparently she had already been charged or accused of trying to abduct her own children who were in CPS custody. Now, we're not going to do any judgment. I'm going to tell you guys what happened. The mother, Wilhelmina, was door dashing and she made a horrible decision to leave her children inside of the running vehicle while she went into Domino's to get the order. Okay. Already know this is a bad decision and the worst thing that could happen happened. And this woman decided to get into that vehicle and take off. Now, one of the children was abandoned at an airport and he is safe, but we're still trying to find Kaysen. She traveled from Columbus to Dayton, which is about 70 miles. Please share this out so Kaysen can be found. According to Indie Star, two women, Cheyenne Delmar and Mecca Curry, cousins, said they came up with a plan to take the woman, Nala Jackson, who was going by May in Indianapolis and was selling toys, to a store and call police to arrest her there so they wouldn't be traced as the people who called her in. First, the cousins called Columbus police, who told them to call Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. When they called Indianapolis police, the women struggled to get their point across that they believed Jackson was in their car. The cousins got frustrated and hung up and took the woman to several more stores hoping she would shoplift and draw authorities' attention. They worried taking her to a police station might cause her to run. Curry said throughout the shopping trips, she made calls to detectives trying to relay all information she received from her cousin about their belief May was the suspected kidnapper. At one point, the police called while the women were in the car, the cousin said. Not wanting to tip off the woman, Curry said she pretended to be talking to a friend and indicated that they were driving on I-65 South. The women said police found their car and conducted a traffic stop. May, at that point, went quiet. Curry said a police officer initially seemed skeptical about whether it was Jackson and said they should take her to a shelter. After the arrest of May, Nala Jackson, was made, Delmar and Curry began to look for the baby. I will admit that there are aspects of this story that are weird, but here is a TikTok of the two heroes explaining what happened in their own words. They eventually found the baby and alerted police officers, at which... That picture confirming that the baby was found was taken in a Papa John's. Note the hat that Delmar is wearing. It's her wearing the same hat in the background of the Twitter post where the IMPD were taking credit for what Delmar and Curry did, saying community members helped. The point is and should be, the babies are safe and sound. We can rejoice in that. God bless Amber Alerts. And this story was already a series of unfortunate events when a woman took a mother's running car with the twin babies in the backseat. But then the other child, Kyer Thomas, was found by a passerby early Tuesday morning in the parking lot of the Dayton International Airport. The abductor was trying to get money for drugs, leaving the other baby in the backseat alone for an unknown amount of time. However, communities keeping themselves safe is out of focus. It would be great if law enforcement officers acknowledge that. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel. We're going to be all right. Thanks for watching.